Hey gearheads, welcome to another uh, tech class here. Today we're going to be working on a hydraulic system. I've just installed our left side drive hydraulic uh, side cover for late model bikes. That's 07 and later. And we're going to show you how to bleed the clutch today. So I'm going to start with removing the uh, clutch master cylinder cover uh, so we can add fluid. It's just two Phillips head uh, screws on here and uh, we'll just simply remove those and get those out of the way. Now I already broke these loose but they're not very tight in general. So when you take the cover off just make sure you keep the seal in your hand and uh, set that all aside. With the cap removed you can add oil if it needs to. There is a fill line right here the cap's going to tell you what kind of fluid you're going to need. This system requires DOT4. So we'll get started by just applying pressure to the master cylinder. And you just want to pump that in slowly until it starts building pressure. When you're doing this, you're going to have to open up the bleeder. And so what you'll do is pump the master cylinder up until it starts building pressure. And you're going to hold the pressure on the master cylinder by leaving your fingers on it. And you're going to go over to the other side and you can just crack the bleeder with your hand and we'll show you in another camera angle here what, what, how we do that. Um, so I'm just going to continue to pump this up until it starts building pressure. You'll slowly see the fluid level go down. Once it gets below the fill line just add some more as it goes. Okay, I've pumped up the clutch. I'm starting to feel pressure on the lever. I've got the lever pulled in all the way to the grip. I'm going to crack open the bleeder. And that should let some pressure out. No fluid has come out, just a puff of air. So I'm keeping the lever closed. And now I'm just going to close this again. So close your bleeder screw off. And then repeat. And you're just going to pump up that lever again until it starts to feel pressure. Eventually it'll start bubbling out some hydraulic fluid here and we'll be uh, adding more fluid if needed. So I'm going to open up this bleeder again. You can hear, see, so now it's starting to bubble a little bit. We're getting fluid out. I'm going to close that again and then we're just going to continue to pump up the clutch master cylinder. I'm going to have to add some fluid at this point. <clears throat> Okay, I've got the clutch lever pulled in. I'm starting to feel the clutch being able to open up and you can, you can really feel the springs on the clutch once it starts building pressure. So I'm going to pull that lever all the way in again to the bars. I'm going to crack the bleeder open. See a little bit of air come out there. It's spitting. Still fluid. I still got pressure on the bar and I'm just going to close that off again and start pumping up the master again. Just got to repeat this until no air comes out of that system. At this point, now my clutch is starting to feel like it has full uh, disengagement, so we're just going to pull, pull the master in again all the way to the bars, crack this open, still a little bit of air coming out, close it off, and we'll repump this back up. Right now I'm just building up pressure. Got the clutch master pulled all the way in. And we're gonna crack open the bleeder. Close it. And pump the master back up until you can get some pressure again. Alright, we got pressure again on the bars. So we've got the clutch lever pulled in all the way to the bars. We're gonna crack the bleeder. A little bit of air coming out there. And this is good. We're getting some of this old fluid out of there, which you really want to get all that out too. And you can do that just by adding more fluid until you can get this clear down here. But I think we've got just about a full bleed on this. <clears throat> I'm going to try this one more time here. Pull the bars in. 
crack the bleeder. No air that time, just straight fluid. You can hear the master sucking. So we're going to add a little bit more fluid to the fill line. And uh, we'll then put the master cylinder cover and gasket back into place and should be good to go. I'll give this one more since I sucked a little air in there. Yep, all fluid, just the way we want. 